So, late last year, Canva released CanvaDocs, and with CanvaDocs, they released their own version of AI writing known as MagicWrite, and this is how to use it. Go to Canva, and you'll see here at the top, CanvaDocs. Go ahead and click on that. Just click Start Writing, and if we see here, click on this button here, plus button, click a magic right, go ahead and enter in your prompt and try to be as detailed as possible and give Canva time to generate your query. As we can see here, this is a 1000 word blog post. Again, keep in mind that you can only use magic right for Canva docs, but do let me know if you try this out. Did you know that you can use the paintbrush tool in Canva to copy over photo filters? Let me show you. Let's say we, we edited this photo here of this house here, and we went ahead and increased the brightness, contrast, saturation, brought down the shadows. And let's say we liked the look of this photo and we want to replicate it to this second photo. Now we could go ahead and take all of these toggles here and do the exact same thing to this photo. But in this case, what we can do for ease is go up to the three dots up here that I clicked on, click on the copy style make sure you're already selected on this first first photo and then all we have to do is if i zoom in here if we click on the second photo here we can see that it has applied the same adjustments to the first photo to the second photo here now this might not be the best example of this but this is how you can easily copy over the filters and adjustments to different photos on a page without having to go through all the extra work Everybody knows that on Canva you can hyperlink elements, but did you know that you can hyperlink your email address? So if somebody clicks your email icon on whatever design that you have, it will open up a new email draft in the preferred email system. Here I have a resource page I created for the Women of the Wolfpack because I do some trainings in that group. So in this case, I created a page that I can share through Canva as a site. Now in this case, I have my resources at the bottom here and I want to link my email to this specific icon. So let's click on this and then we're gonna go up to the top button up here, the three dots, click on that. Then we'll see the link button. So click on that. Now all you have to do is literally just paste in your email, hit enter, and you can see it says link added. Now notice if we click on this again, it says mail to your email address. Now to check this, what we can do is either download this as a PDF, but in this case, I'm just gonna open it up as a presentation, open this as a website and we can see if this works. So, sorry if this is really small, but down here, if we click on that, it opens up my mailbox. And now you can send an email to me. One of the things I love about Canva is the library of elements you can play around with. So here's how to save your favorite elements and never lose them again. So here I have a subscribe button and let's say I really like this and I want to use it on a different design. So I want to save this. So I'm going to click on this element and if we go up to this I button right here, click on that info. Now what we can do is either star this or add this to a folder. In this case, I'm just going to star it. Okay, now how do we find that specific element in the left-hand tab here? So where to find this? We're gonna go to the projects tab here. You can see that projects, click on that. And currently we were in the folders section. So usually you would open up into all, then we're gonna go into folders and we'll see the start section here. And as you can see, that is that exact subscribe button. But again, it's in its original color, but you can change the font or change the color of this element here. Did you know that you can edit photos natively in the Canva dashboard? Let me show you. Go up to the create a design button, click on the edit photo here, and we can choose a photo to edit in the editing window. Now it's gonna create a pop-up. From here, we can adjust almost everything. So you have a bunch of filters to play around with. You can also adjust the regular toggles, brightness, contrast, things like that. We can also crop this as well. Oh, we'll do this free form. Click done. And one of the, my favorite tools is of course the background remover. So give it a second to do that. And then you can see the before and after the comparison. And then you could save this design, download it to your computer, use in Canva or save to Canva. But in this case, I would use these photos for my YouTube thumbnails. This is how to use the paint drop tool in Canva to find the hexco colors from different images. Check it out.
Let's say we wanted to find the color of this purple color here to match this to the background, which is now white. So let's click on the background here and go up to the top corner, click on the color. And now we want to click this and you'll see here there is this tool drop button. So click on that. Now we can select this color here and now it's going to change the background to match exactly that same purple color here. And now you can also see that this hex code here is that purple color. So now you can save that into your brand kit if you wanted to. If you wanna be fancy on Canva and take your designs to that next level, then look for these gradients in the Canva Elements Library. So go to your left-hand side here, open up the Elements tab, and we're gonna search Gradients. Now you'll see there's graphics, photos, videos, etc. We're gonna open the see all. Now my favorite ones to use are probably this pink one, this purple one, and this cyan one down here, uh, which is a pro one. Now these ones are free, so let's just click on this one. And the nice thing about these types of gradients is that you can actually change the colors versus the other ones. You can't really do that. So let me just change this here and let me just close out this window and as you can see you can use the gradients like this and of course you can switch them around and you can make it come from the bottom but let me know if you like these gradients let me know if you try it out be honest are you using folders on canva because if you're not why it's going to make your life so much more easier let me show you so if you were creating your youtube thumbnails in canva what i suggest you do is to create a folder of your youtube headshots so open up the projects tab here and then we're going to go and see add new folder in this case i have already made my folder here so i'm just going to open it up it's in graphics headshots now if you want to add more photos go up to the add new and then you can go into upload and import your photo here so i'm just going to use this one now it's already uploaded into this specific folder here. Now, how do we use it? So open up your design here. Now on the left-hand side here, we're gonna open up the projects tab, click on that. We're gonna go to folders. We're gonna find that named folder. Mine is headshots. It's here and we uploaded this photo right here. <laughs> click on that. And it's gonna be imported into your YouTube thumbnail design. So I hope you guys try this out. Let me know how it goes. Did you know that in Canva, you can embed another design into another design? It's design inception. So in this case, I show you how to embed your seller's guide into your listing presentation. Check it out. First, we have to go back to your Canva homepage, find the design you want. So in this case, I want to embed my seller's guide into my seller's presentation. Now go up to the share button, open up more, and we are looking for the embed. Click on that. And we want the second link here, which is a smart embed link. Copy that, go back into your other design. We're gonna open up another page here and all you have to do is either command or control V and it will paste it in just like that for you. And to play around with this, double click and you can start to interact with it. Did you know that you can create your own photo filter in Canva? Let me show you. Right here, I have a photo that I've already made adjustments to. So if I click on the photo, go up to edit image, see all, you can see that I have my toggles on here at different levels. But let's say I want to copy over the exact same filter as this previous photo to this photo here. So in this case, what we can do is click on the first photo, go up to edit image, open the see all tab. Now at the bottom here, we'll see filter code. Now what we have to do is copy this code Go to the other photo that you want to edit, click on that, hit the edit image, and then we can see here that there's nothing turned on here, but at the very bottom, we have the filter code. So here, delete that, paste in that code from the other one, and you can see it already turns on all the toggles for you, and that's how you create your own filter. The beauty of Canva is the fact that every single day there are new templates being made and shared on this platform. So this is how you can take a template and instantly make it match your personal brand. So let's say we are creating a real estate presentation. This one is a pro one because we have the camera pro up there, but we're gonna use it anyways because with camera pro you become a professional and I show you how. So we're going to apply all 10 pages. So we have that at the bottom here. Now we're gonna go back and go into the styles tab. Click on that. And as you see here, we have our brand fonts and colors. Now, if you want to select between different ones, go ahead and do that. I already have mine selected, but if you do not know how to create a brand kit on Canva, check out this video right here on how to do that. Okay, now let's go back into here. And now we're going to 
click on this page here we're going to shuffle between the colors and see which one we like apply to all pages at the bottom we're also going to click the brand fonts up here as well and apply to all pages and if we take a look here we can see across all the pages our colors and our fonts have been transferred to every single page if you try this out let me know how it goes you can create some really beautiful and intricate designs on canva and that's kind of where things get tricky here is a super underrated tool that nobody really talks about and that is the lock tool let me show you here i have a seamless just listed instagram post so it's one long canvas so here i have a gradient right now it's loose and it's not locked down so inevitably i keep moving it around when i want to change my text so the way i handle this is by locking it down so you want to click on the element you want to lock down click on it then we're going to go up to the upper right corner here you'll see this lock button if we click that on now this gradient is locked down and we're not going to be moving it anymore when we change out our designs so there you go try out the lock tool. Did you know you can create product mockups in Canva? Let me show you. Go to the main page of Canva. On the left hand side, you'll see smart mockups. And keep in mind that there are free ones and pro ones. So just make sure you take a look at the, again, the right lower corner. In this case, you can use smart mockups for print, packaging, apparel, anything of the like. In this case, I like to use smart mockups to promote youtube videos so i'm just going to use this one here this one is a free one all you have to do is select now you can import something from your desktop here in this case i already have this uploaded into canva so i'm just going to select that here and now we can just save them mock-up and we can import this into a design or just download this directly to our computer here and if i open this up you can see the mock-up and that's how you use the smart mock-ups on canva so let me know if you try this out